my bats are in the way. Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, thanks for stopping by. If you are already subscribed, then welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a pop of color makeup look. So a while ago, I did kind of like a whole video on different ways that you can add color to your everyday look or bold looks. All of that super fun stuff dealing with colorful eyeshadow and lipstick and blah, 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 blah. But I will go ahead and link that video up right here. What this is, is this is the first episode of a series I'm doing. It's my color series. Basically, I'm going to take everything that I listed in that video and break it down for you. So in that video, I did not go over step by step of how to do each look. But in these videos, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So the first video I chose was for that pop of color under the eye that I do so often. And a lot of you guys comment on how to do it. How do I do it so I don't look like sickly? How do I do it so it looks good? So I went ahead and I chose this one first. It's super simple. It is a natural look on the top with just a pop of blue on the bottom. So before we get started, just make sure you go ahead and you hit that subscribe button for me at the bottom of this video and the bell next to it. So you are instantly notified when I upload. And if you want to see step for step how I got this look, then just keep watching. I love my bats. It's about as Halloween as I'm getting this year. I'm super pregnant. Yeah. All right, guys. So like I said in the intro, I am going to be doing a pop of color added to your everyday makeup look to make it fun and super jazzy um, and easy to do and not so scary to wear. So I am going to be using the two palettes that I used for this look are the um, Greek Goddess by Lunar Beauty and I'm also going to be using the Strawberry Dream by Lunar Beauty. They have some of my favorite, this one has some of my favorite nude shadows and this one has like a super super boatload of like pops of colors that I really like. So and I really haven't dug too much into either of them so I'm trying to use ones that I know I really love that I haven't used in a while. So the first part of this look is that natural, normal, everyday makeup look, which is going to be just like a nude color um, and a little maybe taupe or light brown to kind of give it a little more depth. I've already done my brows. I set my, I put my concealer and I'm going to set it now. And basically what I do to set my concealer is I use like a light color like this one, Hestia, and it's just like a beige color just so it doesn't give it any color. It just kind of sets it so the brushes will move much easier along my eye. So this part is pretty simple. This actual look is pretty simple unless you want to go like super in depth with it. So I did a um, green look with the Kylie Under the Sea palette and I kind of did a little more in depth. I did like a pink and green but this is kind of going to be for more of the I wear like a natural nude look every day but I want to add a little fun to it. All right so now that I've done that I think I'm actually going to zoom you guys in just a little bit. Okay more. so you can't see my bats anymore but you can see the eye a little bit better. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with Persephone, which is this medium taupe right here, and I'm going to make that a crease color. So the basic things, that you, brushes that you're going to need for this are going to be blending brushes, and you're going to need pencil brushes for the under eye, and then a packing brush for your lid if you're going to put shimmer or some other color on your lid to go with the transition colors. All right, so I'm gonna go into Persephone, give it a little tap, and just right here in the crease where I usually do, I will just go ahead and buff that in there. Nothing crazy. And you can, like I said, always change this up if you want a little more in-depth color. You can do like a brighter color, pinks, purples, and then just kind of match whatever that pop of color is you're going to put on the bottom. But the reason I do it this way is because a lot of people feel more comfortable wearing a more nude look with just a pop of color than crazy colors. And if you're in a super like rush, you could just take this whole color Persephone and just bring it down all the way. 
and basically put the pop of color there but we're gonna do a little bit more definition um, or dimension because I prefer to have just a little bit of dimension some shimmer some matte um, some depth but when it comes to like this specific look I do not use any dark colors I keep it more natural and you'll see what I mean um, but I'm just really excited to be doing like this kind of video like series videos and just kind of showing you guys like fun ways to incorporate color because I know that can be one of the scariest slash hardest things to do so it's actually one of like the most fun things to do uh, for me at least and I just want to be able to share that with you guys and how I do that and how I do it so it's not too crazy and you can wear it every day and there are going to be videos where I do it and it's super crazy but you might want to wear that too every day who knows okay so now that I'm done that part I'm gonna go ahead in with Artemis which is right here it's just a shade or two darker than Persephone and I'm gonna go ahead and put that directly into the crease and I'm going to do that with one of my dual ended ABH brushes this is, it has more of like a terracotta feel to it I just want to give it a little more warmth because I feel like that other one I did was a little more cool tone right, so it's literally that easy so what I'm gonna do now is I want to go ahead and put a shimmer on my lid you could literally like I said just take that um, taupey brown color pull it down and then move on to the next step but I like to add a little bit of dimension so shimmer will be my next step and I think I'm gonna do iris because it is the most natural you have this one down here which is athena but it's super light and bright and then some of these are just a little too dark for what i'm trying to do all right so i am going to take a mac 22 wait nope mac 239 and some mac prep and prime and just give it a spritz i already laid the concealer down previously so i won't put any primer but the wetness of the brush We'll go ahead and pick that shimmer up and lay it down. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I love Lunar Beauty's palettes. Like love, 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 love. You can get them at Sephora now online. You can get them from his website. I don't, I think he's still in Morphe. I'm pretty sure he's still sold at Morphe. Um, so in the store or on their website. I just absolutely love these shadows. I have all of his palettes except for his first, which is Life's a Drag. Um, I just really, I don't know what it was about that one that I just really wasn't into. But I never picked it up, so. <laughs> but I have all the other ones, so now I'm kind of like, mm, maybe I should have. Iris is so pretty. Alright, so basically what I did, I'll go ahead and lean in a little bit, was just put that shimmer on my lid up to... My crease and I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of the Artemis color right in that crease and just blend it so it looks a little more smooth all right so that is literally it for the top of the lid it is three colors nude ready to go it looks like you put a lot of work in once you get it all together I know you're probably like I could have thrown that together but just wait for it it's gonna look so stunning and I can't wait for you guys to see it so I'm gonna go put my full face of makeup on because I can't do my under eye without my foundation so I will be right back and we will do the rest of the eye look all right so I am back I have done my full face uh, and my lipstick as well I just went ahead and did that all off camera just because it'd be a lot quicker so now I'm gonna go into the second part of the pop of color natural look that we're doing and for this one I will be using the Lunar Beauty strawberry dream palette and I think I'm gonna go in with blue sky which is this lighter blue right here. This darker one I try to avoid putting on my um, under eye simply because uh, it can kind of look almost like you have like a black eye because it is a deeper blue. So just be mindful of that. You can use whatever color you want, obviously, but I try to avoid that for that reason. So we're gonna go into a brighter blue. So my favorite way to go about doing this is taking two different 
pencil brushes. So I have a small, small one from Morphe. It's the E36. And if you can see here, it's like super small. So the reason I do that is so that I can get like right up under that lash line. So after that, I will either go in with a tighter blending brush or a chunkier pencil brush. This one is also from Morphe, but it doesn't have the name on it. So I never really know what that one is. It's the chunkier one. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and dip into blue sky. Such a beautiful color. And like I said, I go right where the lash line is. So go under the lashes. And if you get it on the lashes, it's fine because you're going to put mascara on to remove that, so. And it makes you feel better. You can always add blue liner if you have it, if I'm matching color to kind of close it off, but I don't like to do that because I feel like that closes off my eye. So do you see what I did there? I just light-handedly went from the corner, the outer corner, to the inner corner. So make sure you're closing it up. You don't want to leave any gap here just because it'll look kind of weird. So I'm going to go over it again just because I like it to have a little more color. So you could stop there if you want to. Um, if that's dark enough for you, then that's great. If not, you can go over it again. So right there is fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with that thicker pencil brush and I'm going to bring it down. See, because the problem is a lot of people will stop here. Like, cool, I tight lined it. I'm good to go. But that's not what you want to do. You want to get just a little on a bigger brush. And I'm looking at the mirror while I'm doing this. And you want to bring it down the whole under eye lid area, I guess is what it's called. But that whole round part, go like this, and you'll be able to stretch it to see it. So I definitely get that whole round where your eye is. Don't just do it on the liner or the lash line because then it could look like you're kind of like sickly, you got dark eyes. You have to make sure it's blended. That is like the biggest part of this color step is making sure that it's blended down, not too far down because then you're gonna start getting into your under eye and you don't wanna do that. Just be careful when you're doing this look as well with whatever color you use because if you have a shadow that has a lot of fallout, this one does not, thank goodness, it's gonna get all over your concealer and foundation area here. So, and that cleanup's a little bit harder just because you have all that already. And also to kind of help you with the fallout, if you get any, just keep your beauty blender that you used for your powder or your concealer. And you can kind of just like go over it to kind of pick up anything that may have fallen. And you can also use your powder, like your setting powder brush if you use that and just flake it off. Never, ever, ever wipe it because then you are going to smear it. And it just turns out really bad. <laughs> so now that I've put that pop of color, what I will usually do is go in with the same colors on my lid. So I'm going to go in with Persephone right here. And I'm going to get a smaller blending brush. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but you're going to want it to be small so you can get in to that under eye area without getting it all over the place. Okay, so this is the Morphe M433, which is literally one of my favorite brushes. And it's tapered a little bit at the top too, which is what I like. So I'm literally just gonna just lightly dip into that top color that I put up here. And I'm going to go at the bottom of this color and just blend it so it doesn't look so harsh. So just like this. Just blend that brown there because what that's gonna do is stop that color from doing like a straight up sharp stop and still not taking it too far down. I know that sounds crazy. I'd rather you get it on that blue and have to go back over that blue than take it too far down. And now you have like shadow kind of dragging your eyes down. Another thing I wanna show you, I'm gonna go back in with that blue just to kind of show you because I do have to touch it up a little to give it a little brighter look because the brown took that color away what i do is when i do this to avoid the fallout i go one way so i'll start here and go one way i do not go back and forth with the colorful shadow 
just because that's gonna give that like fallout effect really bad. So I just start one part of the eye and work as far as com is that is comfortable and then I just come and meet from the other side. So none of that windshield wiper nonsense. All right, so that is it for that part. And as always, you can put a pop of color on the inner corner if you want. I probably will because the iris color is not super shimmery. All right, so for this pop of color, I am gonna go ahead and use my pencil brush as well. And I'm actually gonna go in with the color Lightning, which is this yellowy gold color in the corner, just to give it like just a little pop of shimmer who doesn't love a pop of shimmer am i right like it just look at it it makes you shine it brings all the attention to your eyes which is really what you want to do um not that like the rest of your face doesn't matter but if you're working this hard to get like a beautiful eye look you don't want your lips to outshine it and that's why i do like a nude look whenever i'm doing a pop of color on my eye that way the attention is drawn to my eyes and not to my lips or everywhere else. Nothing wrong with wearing color on the lips, but you have to decide where you want the eyes to go first when someone looks at you. So I go ahead and I just put it there and I will bring it down a little onto that blue. Nothing crazy, but just enough. And like sometimes I'll go like this with my fingers. There's no point in getting a brush for that and just kind of like blend those two together. So that's it for that. I just have to put some lashes on and I will be right back. All right, so now that I put the lashes on, this completes this look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this kind of like step-by-step -step tutorial on just adding color to your everyday look. It is fairly simple. Uh, leave a comment below if maybe like you need me to reach out and do like step for step written down. If something didn't make sense to you or if you need any other further tips on achieving this look. But I promise you the first thing that you have to like I guess accomplish before you can do color is you have to accept the fact that it's going to be colorful. It's going to be bright. You have to be confident. Find that confidence no matter what it takes and just go, I'm badass. This is what I'm going to be wearing, whether anyone likes it or not, and just do it. Play with it. Have fun. Choose different colors. Uh, comment below. Let me know what color you would have chosen for under the eye. I love greens and pinks and purples. So what color are you going to try when you do this look? And as always, guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.